I'm tired. Short vlog. All right, so I'll just talk about my vault day, a little bit of snowboarding, the rant of the week. And then we'll give you a little update, so we're done. Let's do it. Tuesday, I vaulted, and it went pretty good. Even though I was super sore, because I did a lot of squats, and I tried these new Bruce Lee little things, and my abs haven't been sore in like eight years, and these made them sore. Whoa. Since I was still bleh, 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 bleh. Since I was sore, I decided to stay at four lefts and uh, just work on some of those cues. So I started on like a 15, 175, nothing too crazy. And uh, it just didn't feel right. And so we tried all sorts of stuff. We tried to jump up more. Just a better run in, taller take off. It was better, oh. oh. Tried rolling the pole out to the side more. Tried throwing my arms more. Tried to plant to the right corner more. And nothing felt right. Just nothing felt right. And I couldn't figure it out. But in the past, I would have got frustrated. But I didn't get frustrated. We just kept trying stuff. And then I finally found it. The thing I've been looking for for the past two years that I haven't been able to do. I have been sticking my left arm up like I'd like. I just got three more inches higher. And try to stick my armpit into the pit. And I haven't done that in a long time. Even though I thought I was doing it, just haven't been doing it, there was that little bit more that I could have went and changed my vault. Instantly. So then I blew through the 75, and then it took a few jumps to figure out the 80. And then I started blowing through the 1580. Four lefts. And then I made the same mistake every pole vault, every pole vaulter has made since the history of pole vault beginnings. I just wanted to end on a good one. So I did one more. Didn't work. And then I did one more. And it didn't work. And then I did one more. And it still didn't work. This never happens. Like, it's like winning the lottery. I ended on a good one. Go, 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 go. Better. So yeah, that's how it went. Pole vault. Boom. I'm pretty excited to keep doing it because it finally felt like it used to feel. Then Carrie and I went snowboarding. It was warm enough to go naked and still be sweating. I'm like wearing a t-shirt. I saw a one-legged man do the moguls. I can't even do the moguls with two legs. All right, let's do the rant of the week. People who cross the track without looking. Like seriously, it's just proper track etiquette. I know all you track people know this. Dunk, dunk, I'm safe. You do it when you cross the street, why don't you cross the track? We're moving just as fast as cars are. Some of us are. What are you looking for? I found it. I'm only a little bit sorry if you get rocked by a sprinter who's coming out of the blocks. And by sorry, I mean I'm sorry you're an idiot. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy I would say anything with some kind of rectangular shape, even if it goes into a circle or a bigger rectangular shape, you should probably always just look both ways. I don't care who you are. You could be a guy. Concerned. A gal. A superhero. A cartoon. A parent? 100%. Or even a little kid? <sighs> you're seriously just not safe. Even if you're in a plastic bubble, which you're probably not, you're not gonna be safe. We're running pretty fast with our head down, so we're not looking, because we're not supposed to be looking. You're supposed to be looking. Even if you feel lucky enough like you could win the lottery, you still need to look both ways. at high school, and nine times out of ten, it's always some little kid that I'm about to rock, or some parent or teacher who's dinking around on their phone or playing a game. You have reached level 60. Woohoo! I did it! You're making me scared. You're not looking anywhere except for your game or paying attention to the world around you that could be potentially ready to kill you and make your body explode to a million pieces. <laughs> Sometimes those guys are lucky enough to not get hit. Whoa! They just missed it. And then all of a sudden... You're usually training with another guy or racing them. You're smashed. Should just look both ways. <laughs> I've hit a few people. And I've found there's usually like four different reactions. There's the call a friend reaction. Oh, oh, wow. You are not gonna believe what almost just happened. There's the what the F reaction. We just need to think this out. 
thinking, we need to act. Yeah. Whoa, Seth. What the f happened? There's the I'm sorry reaction. Sorry. And then there's super angry, <laughs> angry reaction. We're just trying to help you out, okay? Help me. You almost killed me, you lunatic. Russo, hey. Just be glad I'm not suing your ass. Honestly, just look both ways. So you don't get hurt, and we don't get hurt. It's not that hard. <sighs> if you ever take somebody out, it's always their fault. I'm sorry, there won't be a vlog next... next. I can't talk today. Alright, sorry. Next week, there will not be a vlog, because I will be down at... Daniel Ryland's place in Florida. If you guys are down and around there, come find me. We can hang out. But there will be a cool vlog after that, I'm sure. After I get back, I will be going to Pittsburgh to run a pole vault clinic. Coming up really quick. I'll just tell you right now. It's March 19th and 20th. So come hang out. All right, before I go, if you guys want some, you know, free stickers and stuff, like these are pretty cool. Suggest a rant, and if I use it, you win some stickers, or send me an intro. If you automatically send me an intro, I will send you stickers no matter what. That's it. Bye. Reminds me of like a four-year-old kid who kicks a ball into the street, and they're like, Hey, that's the ball, I need to go get it. And they run into the street, and they could get hit by a car. That you just don't know any better. But these are like grown-ass adults. Hey, that's the ball, I need to go get my ball. And then, boom, they're just gonna get killed. <sighs> High school kids, and parents, and old ladies. You'd think they'd be smarter. How does it feel to finally win a championship game? Um... Uh... To be honest, it really hasn't hit me yet.